Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. Um, I actually had a video of my skincare routine up a while ago, but I deleted it. And I'm just going to make a new one because I changed my skincare routine. So, um, just to start off, my skin type is oily. Uh, well, oily combination because my face usually is my forehead's oily, my nose is oily, and my chin, and then my cheeks are dry. Well, not dry, but they're like normal. Um, so, I used to use a lot of harsh chemicals on my face, like, I would use specifically stuff for acne, because I had acne, but I found out that it's actually bad to use acne products sometimes, just because it has drying agents, like alcohol, that can, uh, dry out your skin and make you have wrinkles, and it actually makes you zits and acne look worse, because it inflames it and makes it look more red, so I actually changed my routine a lot, and, um, the first thing I actually use is, when I get in the shower, I do all the stuff, mo well, a couple of stuff to do in the shower and everything else to do after. But um, the first thing I use is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. Um, what this is basically, it's just a very, very mild cleanser. Um, it doesn't have any harsh ingredients in it or chemicals. It's basically just cleanser. Like, it doesn't help with acne or anything like that. It just helps remove excess oil without drying and it rinses clear, what it says on the bottom. Um, what this is, is kind of like a gel substance and... I think it works really well, and I've noticed that my face has gotten a lot better since I've used it. Um, I've used it for about a month now, I'd say, and my skin's cleared up a lot, even though it's kind of weird because it's not for acne, but I think what helped is because I used to use acne products, like I said, and um, I think that made my face look a lot more red than it actually was, so I'm thinking that since I use something a lot more mild now, it doesn't aggravate it, so my face actually um, improved with it. So I definitely recommend this, and it does clean your face, and my face does feel clean after using it. So it's a very good cleanser. Um, you can get this at Walgreens or Target, and I think it's around like $10, and this is in 16 fluid ounces. So definitely recommend that, and I still have a lot left, and I use it, I use like three pumps twice a day. So I use a lot of it, and I still probably have half a bottle left. Alright, so the next thing is, I usually don't use this that often, but I'll use this a couple times a week if I feel like I have couple white heads and stuff like that, but this is just the St. Ives uh, Apricot Scrub and Invigorating. It looks like this. This is probably, most people are probably familiar with this. Um, you can just get this at any store like Target or Walgreens again. I think it's around $5. And what that is, it's just a exfoliating scrub that has like crushed up particles. Um, I think it's walnut or something like that. Um, yeah, walnut. And um, it just crushed up particles and smells like... Uh, apricots and I think it does a good job at scrubbing away all like the excess oil stuff but I never only use that like I use that first and then I use my Cetaphil and I guess I should mention this now but the way I use my Cetaphil um I actually have a Clarisonic Mia um and this is a sapphire blue one it has the sensitive brush on it looking like this it looks like that on the side um I actually when I in the shower I First, we'll either use a St. Ives scrub, or I'll just start off the Cetaphil. And what I do is I get a pump for each cheek, a half pump for my forehead, and I just rub that in a little bit just to make sure it goes all over my face. And then I'll put an another pump on the actual Clarisonic, and then I just use it how you're supposed to. And that does a really good job at making sure my skin gets rid of all the oils and stuff on my face. Um, so I definitely recommend getting a Clarisonic, even though it is it expensive. It's around, like... 100, I think I said $124. I have a video of me unboxing it that I put up a couple weeks ago. So definitely check that out. Um, I might do a review on this as well soon. But, and then after I'm done with my shower, I usually just use those products in the shower. And then when I get out of the shower, this thing I may do sometimes, but I don't do every day. But I have a Sweet Lips Lip Scrub by Lush. And this is in chocolate and um what this is is kind of just an exfoliator for your lips but you just rub it on your lips and it kind of just scrapes off all the dead skin and stuff i use this probably once every other week but i thought it was necessary to add this because it is part of my skincare routine but um what you do is like i said you rub it on your lips and you just lick it off and apparently it gets all the dead skin off um this is from i got this at uh I believe Macy's at the Lush counter. I know they have Lush stores, but near me they don't have a Lush store. So I just did that, and this costs, I think, $9. So I've had this for a while, so I definitely recommend it. Um, I still have a lot left, and I use it, like I said, a couple times a month, I would say. Okay, so next what I do is 
I've changed my astringent. I used to use, uh, like, clean and clear, like, oil, or not oil, uh, alcohol-based products, but I actually changed something natural, and what this is, this is just a regular, this is just a random bottle, but I put it in, but what this is, is apple cider vinegar, and what's good about apple cider vinegar or lemon juice is, like, the same kind of effect, is it's a natural astringent, so it doesn't have the chemicals, like, alcohol in it that really dry out your skin and irritate it, and, um, also, if you didn't know, drying out your skin does give you wrinkles, but, um, What's good about this is it helps really, really well at getting rid of acne and pimples. Like, if you have a pimple, you put this on there with, like, a cotton square or a cotton ball, and you just rub it on your skin, and, um, it, I really do notice that if I have, like, a pimple that's, like, I popped, or if it's, like, giving me problems, or just, like, it's really big or something like that, I notice if I use this, like I would after I take a shower, it really does help reduce it, if not by that night, or it will actually make it go away within a couple of days, which I really like that using this product just because it does very well job um then the next thing i do is this i do it only at night time for some reason even though it's for morning time but this is the facial fuel id puffer by keels um i like it and i forgot to say apple cider vinegar costs like two dollars from grocery store so that should be hard to find but then this is the id puffer by keels and what this is is it looks like a chapstick kind of and what you do is you just roll it under your eye in the morning, but I do at night for some reason, but, um, it's supposed to have, like, a cooling effect under your eyes and help reduce puffiness, so it doesn't make you look as tired in the morning, but I use that, like I said, at night time. I'll do it sometimes in the morning, like I did today. I used it this morning, but, um, I think it does a really good job, actually, and this is another one of the things you have to get at a department store. This is from, like, I think Nordstrom's, uh, Kiehl's counter, and it is a little bit expensive, but it has lasted a while. This costs, I believe, $20 plus tax. And I've had this for a couple months now, and I barely put a dent in it. So it is worth the money, even though it is only uh, 0.17 fluid ounce. But I think it does a really good job, and I think that you should definitely consider buying it. And then next, what I do is I use the Kiehl's Facial Fuel Moisturizing Treatment for Men. And this is in the 2.5 fluid ounce. And I really like this moisturizer mainly because it doesn't leave that oily effect afterwards. Since I have oily skin, I do not like having my skin feel oily. And this product is really good at moisturizing your skin without leaving it oily, like I said. Um, I definitely recommend it even if you do have acne because it doesn't break you out whatsoever. And this is, again, from the same Kiehl's counter. And it is a little bit expensive for this bottle. I believe it's $30. I'm not sure. But I definitely recommend getting this. Um, next purchase I'm getting, I'm actually going to get this, but an SPF. I believe it's 15 just to have a little bit of sunscreen in my face. But um, this is definitely good, like I said, if you have acne or oily skin because it doesn't leave you, have, leave you having greasy skin. And then the last thing I do is I will use a chapstick. Um... Usually the chaps, I use chapstick twice. I'll put chapstick on right after I take a shower, and I use two different ones. So the first one I use is I just have a couple of these EOS bombs, and this is the cool mint one. I just like this one because it tingles my lips after the shower. So I put this on right before, like after I'm taking a shower, and it's a very good job at doing like moisturizing your lips. Um, and it does make them feel like they feel moisturized after. And this is really cheap, too. I think it's, like, $3.45. Um, and you can get, like, Walgreens, Target, stuff like that. And then, after a while, like, right before I leave or whatever, I use a different chapstick. I use... My friend actually gave this for me. Um, but this is... I don't know if this is, like, a specific, like, special brand, but this is what it looks like. But this... I think she got it at a tanning salon, but it's design Designer Skin Lip Smoothie in Mandarin Vanilla flavored juicy lip balm and it's SPF 15 and has vitamin E. I just like this because it does have SPF and I know it's good to like protect your skin from the sun. So I just use this and I have no idea what it costs but I'm assuming it's no more than five dollars because it's just a chapstick. But definitely recommend the chapstick. So basically that's it for my skincare routine. Um, If you have any questions or any recommendations for me or just any help that you might have uh, with like skin problems because I had a lot of trial and error since I've had problems skin for a couple years now so just let me know in the comments below or message me and i'll definitely try my best to help you out um and basically that's about it so i hope you guys enjoyed my watching my videos and i'm sure to upload some more soon all right guys bye